Hey guys, it's Ben here, and today you will be learning how to create this. And I hope that looks impressive because I haven't yet built it yet. At the moment I am trying to build an Osgiliath landscape. So I'm creating a sort of uh, ruined city and showing you a very simple technique that costs very little, very fun to make. Um, and you start with just basic polystyrene, similar to this, um, just packaging for TV or whatever. Um, and here is where we are at the moment. So I have uh, cut and ripped out doorways, uh, the appropriate size for the figures that I'm creating this for. Um, and this was just a random bit of packaging that I found um, at a friend's house actually, so I don't even know what it was for. Um, so I bought black and white paint uh, from Hobbycraft. I like having black and white because it means you can mix a variety of greys. Had to buy paint brushes as well. Um, and I'm lucky in that I live next to a beach, but if you're near a river, there's probably sand you can find for free as well. I may add some adornments using um, these lollipop sticks that I also picked up from Hobbycraft. And I'll use brown paint to make them more wood-like. I've also got PVA glue. Um, I've also bought foam boards for the base, but you don't need to spend any money. All my previous models have been just using cardboard, cardboard boxes as cut out as the base. So what I'm doing here is I've, I've done the basic sort of large um, cutout. So currently is I'm just going through and I'm removing any of the bits that look to um, like bits of packaging. We're gonna crack on with the PVA, um, and glue it to the base and next stage. This is the addition of rubble stage. I'll just do this around the edge of the board, basically to help blend it, because we go up a layer for all the polystyrene and stuff. Right, so that is me done with the PVA section of this. It's stuck to the board. I'll probably cut this in a curvy fashion. Um, but it will have to stay this general shape. Um, basically, you could do more if you wanted to. Like I could add more rubble here, but the general effect has been given, and I'm pretty happy with how that looks like it will blend into the board. Um, so yeah, the next step is uh, next. The next step is that. The PVA will dry overnight and tomorrow I will add the grey paint. I'll show you how to use the sand with it. Super easy. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey guys, welcome back. It's now the next day. Things are stuck down pretty well. Um, so the next stage I'm going to do is cut out um, the base. So I just use some everyday sort of kitchen scissors um, to cut through this foam board. Actually it was a bit harder than just cutting normal cardboard so I don't know how it will compare. Obviously it's nice and flat so that's a definite advantage whereas cardboard kind of folds in it and stuff like that but I'm not sure if this is the perfect material to use. So the next stage we're going to do is paint. Um, just got these basic massive tubs that cost me £2.50 each. Um, I'm just going to mix them in a simple uh, bowl that's very washable. Um, so yeah, let's do it.
packs. So you get you get absolutely tons of them, so you'll only need to buy them once. Um, addition of some brown paint. Things you can do um, with the polystyrene is good because you can stab these sticks directly in to the polystyrene. Just gonna that's the sort of height for a fence. And I could just wedge that in to the polystyrene directly, and you can create sort of what it looks like they tried to extend what used to be the old wall here. I could do a bit there and there. Um, and then you just give the sticks a quick uh, brush over with this brown paint to make them fit in a bit darker. Um, and yeah, that's another thing you can do very easily, very cheaply. Um, but yeah, that concludes this model. So approximately 10 pounds we've created this. It's great fun to create because you're literally sort of sculpting it yourself. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. And if you'd like me to do more of these, then um, let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, this was fun. So thanks, bye.